Hey what's up guys, today I am going to review a new smartwatch from High Future, and this one is called Future Go Flex. Let's take a quick look at the specifications of this watch first. We have a 1.32 inch Full HD TFT display with 360 by 360 resolution, IP68 waterproof rating, blood oxygen monitoring, a heart rate monitor and a 330 mAh battery which is good for up to 15 days of use. Another very interesting feature is that it is built up of aerospace grade aluminium alloy which does help its looks a lot because it looks very stylish and exudes a classy look. Inside the box, up front, you will see the watch itself. Inside there is a charging cable and quick start guide. The watch come in two colors, silver and the one that I have here, galaxy black. Now at first look, the watch looks absolutely gorgeous with a classic circular design and solid build quality thanks to that aerospace grade aluminium. We have two round buttons on the right which serve specific functions which we will take a look at in a moment. At the back we get the heart rate sensor that can monitor your heart rate 24 7 and the SpO2 sensor that will monitor the blood oxygen levels. Finally there is a charging pin connector that will allow you to charge the watch. The only thing that lets this whole package down a little is the rubber band it comes with. But the good news is that it is a 22mm band so you can easily switch it to something more sophisticated and turn it into a very attractive package. Ok so now that we are done with the hardware details let's dive into the software. It is very easy to navigate around the software. Swiping down on the display will bring up the quick controls panel with day and date and here you can control things like brightness, silent controls, go in settings and activate find your phone. Swiping up will bring up the notifications panel and messages. Swiping to the left on the display will take you to the widgets panel which gives you all the important information like your activity data, heart rate, blood oxygen levels, sleep details and weather and music controls. Swiping to the right brings up all the apps available on the watch. Everything is mostly self-explanatory but few things that I would like to mention here. If you go into the training app there are up to 24 sports modes that you can use to track your activities. Basics like running, cycling, walking and skipping are all included here. In the more section you will find some utility features like stopwatch and timer and in the settings section you get to turn off the watch, reset it, change brightness, watch face and download the smartphone app which I will get to in a minute. By long pressing on the watch face, you can enter the watch face editor and here you can select from other watch faces as well that come preloaded in the watch. The top button on the right basically functions as a back button and if you press it on the watch face, it will also turn off the display. The bottom button acts as a shortcut to the activity app from where you can quickly launch any activity tracking. Comparing the heart rate tracker with the Galaxy Watch 4 shows that results are very close which means that the heart rate tracking is almost as reliable as on Galaxy Watch 4, depending obviously on several factors like your posture, location of the arm and last but not least, how snugly you are wearing the watch on your wrist. The SpO2 sensor shows blood oxygen levels consistently to around 99%, which to me feels much more accurate as compared to the consistently inaccurate results on my Galaxy Watch 4. Sleep tracking is also on board, which gives you basic sleep data but don't expect to get any in-depth details here. You get the call notifications on the watch as well and you can either reject the call, accept it and take it on the phone because the watch does not support the call feature. When it comes to the battery life, I have only charged it once since I first started using it and it is still going good, which means it will easily go beyond the 10 day mark, which is extremely good. It is very easy to connect the watch to the phone you just have to download the Glory Fit app on your phone from your Play Store. It is very easy to connect the watch to the phone. You just have to download the Glory Fit app from the Play Store and then you're good to go. The syncing is quick and happens without any hiccups. Now the app gives you a lot more control over the watch features. Firstly, you can watch more details regarding the activities that you tracked with the watch as well as sleep tracking. In the device section, you can download and install many more watch faces on the watch. There is a huge library of watch faces to choose from and you can also create your custom dials here. You can also turn on continuous heart rate monitoring, auto blood oxygen level monitoring and control your call, messages and app notifications. Then there are some cool features here as well like sedentary reminders that will remind you to move around whenever the watch detects that you have been slacking and inactive for a while. In my use case scenario, I have found this watch to be a very attractive looking one. It very easily bests my Galaxy Watch 4 when it comes to the looks and style thanks to its classic round design with the more traditional looking buttons. And if you can put on a better looking band on it, 
it will kick things up a little bit as well. Overall, for the price of the watch, you get a pretty good deal out of it when you consider things like blood oxygen level monitoring, high resolution display, very good battery life, the number of activities you can track, and great looks. That's about it from this video guys. Let me know what you think about this watch in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.